I have just a few points to make here, and after sharing them, I am hopeful many are going to see what I'm seeing on this. First and foremost, we all know the Roman Catholic Church claims to be anti-abortion. And for those with eyes that see, we also know they claim to be that way for the sole purpose of keeping their foot in the door of politics so as to hide their hellish acts in plain sight as well as have power, political power. But the other toss of the coin on this, that for the Vatican to claim to be anti-abortion is that it grants them the best of both worlds when it comes to honoring Satan. Uh, What I mean is, for them to claim to be pro-life is actually a lie. And we know to lie is to glorify the father of lies. But to abuse and even kill children all over the world, as they have done for centuries, any ex-Satanist who left their job at the abortion clinic as this man did that I made a video about recently, they will all tell you that killing innocent children is why they became abortionists as, you know, human blood, as they declare, is the binding agent to Satan who will grant them the powers they want for killing innocent babies. Now, to confirm what I'm saying about the popes of Rome is true, and especially their current Jesuit pope, regarding the fact that they are and always have been all about abusing and killing children, as anyone with the ability to read knows what historic record shows about the Vatican's history with children. Not only do I verify everything I say on my main website with thousands upon thousands of well-sourced doc files, we all have the ability to do deep research quickly now thanks to the internet. You know, for example, I no longer have to go to multiple big city libraries so as to do some research. I can do that from the comfort of my home. That all being said, and I'm sure this may upset a few Catholics, but I must speak truth for those Christians trapped in Rome that are still seeking after truth. But were you aware that there are in fact Roman Catholic hospitals in operation to this day that still kill babies on a regular basis, as well as Roman Catholic schools referring teenage students to secretly abort their children without their parents' consent. I mean, check out this page on my website when you get some time where I document all of this, as well as show how the Pope himself is fully aware of all of it. Yet, instead of doing anything about it, the Pope chooses rather to honor a pro-abortion activist on camera by giving her a Pontifical Medal of Knighthood. As some of you may recall, I did a video on that too. But the papal and long prophesied insanity in all this that so openly exposes this and confirms the Pope to be the man of sin, and he has been now revealed as prophecy said he would in the last days, it has to be that what the Pope did last November out in the open, he placed the pagan idol of Molech, the actual god of child sacrifice, on display in Rome. And he did this as an open sign of worship before all, so as to glorify the dying God of Rome, of which everyone with eyes that see knows is, in fact, Satan himself. That's the God of Rome. I mean, being in the last days as we are, with all the decadence of sin being normalized by all religious leaders, we can now see that even if you refuse to believe what I just said about the Pope being a card-carrying devil worshiper, the collection of videos, articles, and pictures I have online, as well as that of the Vatican's audience hall, wherein we can easily see it was designed to look like a serpent inside and out, as well as purposely designed to have the Pope himself standing in what looks like the open mouth of a serpent. He stands between the fangs of that serpent when he stands before the people. That openly illustrates that when he speaks, he is in fact speaking for the dying God that was depicted as a serpent since the Garden of Eden 6,000 years ago. Thank you for watching. God bless.